Hi, have you ever wondered how to play tennis without a tennis partner, tennis ball machine or a wall? Well, today I'm going to show you. I will be working on my forehand, backhand and serve. As a full-time tennis coach, um, I don't have time to play tennis. Um, but starting from today, I'm going to start to play once a week, practicing on my own game. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this video today, so I can study myself. I will show you in another video how to correct your own mistakes or technical faults. But uh, let's dive into how to practice by yourself. Let's go. Well, I found this piece of board that I'm going to use. Uh, just to feed myself some forehands, I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to start to practice on the cross court forearm. Now I'm going to do some down the line for us. Well, Forehands was the easy one. Now I'm going to practice on backhands. I'll start with cross court. And uh, yeah, I haven't hit a lot of backhands. As a tennis coach, you feed. So I got the feeling in. But uh, yeah, let's try. Let's do some uh, down the line backhands. I can definitely feel that I'm doing something wrong. So later on, I'm going to put my iPad over there and record myself and analyze later on. Okay, let's do some inside out forms. 
Okay, let's do some serving. What I like to do as a warm up is just standing with my feet still and just focusing on the contact point. I'll show you. Just hitting slow, easy serves. Making sure I have balance when I serve, so I don't be all over the place. Since I'm starting to get warm, I can start to use more legs. Only problem is, since I haven't been serving for like 25 years, I have to take it easy so I don't injure my shoulder again. So, and it's easy for me to just stand like this and, and serve. It's because that's what I do when I'm coaching. But now I'm going to try to use my legs and it's, it's going to be difficult, especially with rhythm and timing of a serve. Let's try. Too much in front. Not too bad. It's actually feeling pretty okay. Oi. That was a weird one. Really weird timing. Okay, let's do serve plus one. It's important to practice the plus one as well. So I have two balls in your hands. So instead of a board I used earlier, you can actually self-feed yourself with your hands. That what happens when you play on clay. A lot of weird bounces. 
So this time I'm going to move backwards. Difficult return. So there are different ways you can do this. Too late. Okay, let's do. Starting to get tired here now. I've been there for an hour. But uh, before I go home, I have to pick up the balls. Most fun thing to do when you play tennis. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so I will show you the easiest and fastest way to pick up a tennis ball without bending your knees too much or your back. So what you do is put your racket and ball, squeeze, lift and pick up. And you can do this fast as well. Easiest way to pick up a tennis ball. Practice it. Okay, thanks for today. I hope you learned something. Got some drills or tips you can use next time you go to the tennis court. See you next time.